So one of the most important things about this app, some people really, really find it helpful as an alternative to paper face charts. Now paper face charts, I know all the counter artists out there know what I'm talking about. It's a tablet that's full of pieces of paper with a face that is illustrated on it. And what you do is you take the products and you put your finger in them and then you rub them on the paper to make it look like the look that you just put on your client. Now, how accurate do those look? Not as accurate and they're a waste product. You're sticking your fingers in the products. Some people use brushes to do it. I mean, I used fingers, we always did in the old days, but you know, they're, they're kind of a pain. Some people find them to be really fun, but what happens when the paper you give it to the client, what happens? You don't have a copy of it. Unless you took a picture of it and organized it somewhere on your phone, you're gonna lose it. So, the client goes home, tosses it in the bin to be recycled. The client is like, whatever. Most of the time. Some clients get really psycho about these pieces of paper and they fold them up into squares and they stick them in their purse and they keep the per it in their purse for like a year. And then when they unfold it, it's all messed up. And they're like, oh, I don't remember what lipstick that was. It looks like something spilled in my purse and got it all wet. So paper charts, you can say goodbye to those unless you find those to be really, really fun. You can do all of your charts in the app. So to get started doing that, let's pretend we have a client named Brianna and her wedding is coming up in two weeks. So we need to create her a look fast because she is in a hurry to get this done. She's a very busy girl. She has no time to do trial and error at all. Like she has no time for trial. She says, just do whatever you want on my wedding day. And you're just like, Brianna, I really don't, I really don't feel comfortable doing that. I really need to do a trial. And she's like, nope, I gotta fly to New York for a business trip. And then by the time I get back, I'm gonna be getting married. So I have no time. So you are probably in panic mode, but using this is gonna help Brianna's process of getting her look to her without touching her face, without being in the same room with her. And let me show you how to do that. So first things first, I want to get Brianna as a contact in my list. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the contact tab at the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new contact. Now you know what to do, you hit the button. Her name is, you wanna do the photo first. And this is the thing that gets a little tricky, is that you really, really need a clear photo of Brianna without any makeup on, none. Maybe foundation only, foundation powder concealer, she can have that on. Um, her eyebrows can be on. Uh, nothing else because you want to create the look and you want to create the lip look, the cheeks, the highlight, the contour, the eyes, the mascara, everything. Make sure you use natural lighting, a ring light or some sort of light so that you can get all of the features. Make sure the eyelids look clear, that everything looks very clear in the photo. So what you're going to do is you're going to add that to your album. So I've uploaded my picture of Brianna into my contacts list and I filled out all, all her information, Brianna Taylor, her phone number, her email address, her actual address. I put it in here because maybe I need to get a hold of her in more ways than just calling her. Maybe I, maybe I can't get a hold of her and I need to actually physically go to her door and knock and say, hey, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Are you okay? Or if the client would rather give you the destination address, that's fine. Just as long as you have many different ways to contact your bridal client. So I also put in here that her wedding is in August. I'm going to put a date here, August 25th, 2017. That's in here. Um, I also, she gave me a deposit, so I put it in there that she gave me the deposit on June 21st. So you're able to tell um, whether or not she has paid her deposit. She paid me 50%. Um, reference photos, I put the a reference photo of the makeup that she actually asked me for. So that is actually in the system. So 
what I'm going to do is create this look here that she gave me that she liked. I'm going to create a digital, digital version of this on Brianna's face. I went ahead and added her to the brides group also. I'm going to hit create a look. Right here on her profile there is a button called create a look. I'm going to hit that. You can create a look from scratch or you can create a look from exi an existing look. So let's say Brianna went through your portfolio and she really liked one of your digital looks you can actually have her, you can actually choose create a look from existing look and it will apply those exact colors to her photo. But in this instance, we're starting from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and say create a look from scratch. So I'm going to upload a photo of Brianna in here and I get to choose client photos. There's an option to take a new picture Take, get one off of your device or from a client portfolio. So I've already got Brianna's look under her client contact list, so there you go. I'm gonna name the look Brianna's Wedding. And there isn't a whole lot of space to type out everything, so I'm just going to put Brianna's Wed. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that, and then you can type in more information here where it says share your thoughts. You can type in um, red lips. You type in something about the look to help you remember what it is. Red lips, brown, smoky eye. Red lips, brown, smoky eye. And I'm going to hit done. And so when you're satisfied with everything that's here, you're going to hit OK. Now it says I have illegal characters in here. So when I put Brianna's apostrophe Brianna. So once you're satisfied with what it says here, you're going to go ahead and hit OK. So there's Brianna's picture. So this is her and she wants the red lip with the dark smoky eye, brown smoky eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with skin first. So if the client has blemishes, if they want their skin to be brighter for their wedding, if they want a lot of foundation, a lot of concealer, you're gonna use some tools at the bottom here under the skin tab. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and Use the softened skin because I am going to be applying a very heavy foundation on her. So when you use this bar on the right side, you can um, move it up for more intensity, move it down for less intensity. So it's going to show Brianna what her skin, and it'll give her an idea of what her skin will look like once she's got the foundation and powder on. Now, if Brianna has dark circles, we can also fix those. If you hit the eyes tab at the bottom, you can hit the circles tab and move that intensity bar up and it will help get rid of everything down here to give her a better idea of what she's gonna look like on her wedding day. Okay, so the skin looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the skin tab again and she had just informed me that she was going to get a spray tan for her wedding. So what I can actually do is hit the foundation button and it brings up all these foundation shades here. Now she said she's, once, she's gonna be a little darker, so I'm going to scroll over and swipe until I find a semi-tan looking color for Brianna's spray tan. So I went ahead and move the intensity bar up to make it darker for her. This looks like probably what a spray tan would look like on her. I went ahead and hit save and it shows me the before and after photo of her skin. So you can definitely see the tan there. So go ahead and hit the back button to go back into the tabs again. And I'm gonna hit the tab, the back button down here to go back into the tool area. So we're gonna start with her eyes first because she really, really wants um, a very intense, smoky brown eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the eyes tab at the bottom. 
and I'm gonna start with eyeshadow first. So I'm gonna hit the eyeshadow tab right above that other tab. And now you have all of the eyeshadow templates here. We have a lot of pre-designed templates, something in here for everyone. So she wants something simple, but she wants it smoky. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll all the way to the end, and I found one that has two colors in it. This one's called Luminous. So it has a, um, a medium tone brown in the inner part, and then the outer part is a very dark brown. Now, the cool thing about this app is that you can change the color palette. So these two little dots up here are samples of the colors that are used in the upper portion of the eyelid. There's two parts to the eyelid. There's the upper and the lower. So we're working in the upper right now. You can tell by this little part on the screen here, upper and lower. So I'm, we're working on the upper right now. So I'm going to choose, I think she wants it a little more dark than this. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the number one shade of the palette, which is the one that's on the inner corner. And that brings up the color wheel, the intensity bar, the saturation bar, and the color picker. So you can do lots of things with this. If, uh, let's say Brianna says, hey, there's a color palette that I really like. She sends me a picture of it. I can actually sample the color from that actual picture and put it on her eyes. So what I'm gonna do is open that color picker up and I'm going to choose the exact, sample the exact brown that she had in the picture that she sent me of the palette. So it's a picture of a beautiful makeup palette. Um, and then on the outer corner, she wants a very, very dark brown, almost black color. So I'm gonna go ahead and she didn't send me a picture of that. So what I'm gonna do there is Take the intensity, um, I'm sorry, the brightness. There's a brightness um, bar here and I'm going to slide the slider towards the black shade. It goes from black to gray to white. So I'm gonna slide it towards the black to create that intense dark brown shade that she wants on the outer corners. Okay, so you can also take that intensity bar and make it even darker than that or you can make it lighter, you can do whatever you want. So this is about what she wanted here, an almost black, dark brown eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Save Palette to save those colors, okay? Then I'm gonna hit on the lower. So this is gonna work on the lower lash area. If the person wants it really smoky, this is important. So I'm gonna hit lower, and there's lots of templates here, and she only wants one color under there, so I'm gonna scroll all the way to the right here. And I chose, let me see here, one called Shook. So Shook, by default, has a sort of medium taupe color there. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap it to bring up the color wheel, and I'm going to make it a darker. She wants it dark brown. So I'm gonna create that color for her. Okay, perfect. So I went ahead and created the dark, smoky brown look for her. Great. Um, this is exactly what she wanted. I'm going to save the palette. Then I'm going to hit the back button here to go to the eyeliner and lashes. So I'm going to look here. She want, I'm going to skip to eyeliner. I'm going to do lashes last. So I'm going to tap on eyeliner. We have a whole different array of different eyeliner styles. Some have long cat eye tips and have really thick tips, uh, wings I should say, and you can choose from different colors. On default, it's like a kind of medium black color. I'm going to tap on black because she wants black. So, I mean, we have purple, we even have yellow. So she wants it very black, so I'm going to tap that and it looks by default, very sheer. So I'm going to take the intensity bar and move it up. Now she wants it, maybe not as thick as I chose. I'm going to keep tapping on different um, templates until it looks like something that she asked me for. Here we go, I think we're getting closer. Let me see. 
Okay, um, so template 023 is more along the lines of what Brianna said she wanted for her wedding. She wanted that dark liquid liner with a little flick, and that's what 23 looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and um, that's for upper lid. For lower lid, of course, on the end here, it says lower, upper, lower. Tapping on lower. Now this is where it gets a little tricky and I will show you how to adjust the eyeliner to make it look more natural because I know some of these by default, they, the eyeliner looks a little wonky. So you do have to go in and choose what, what's called key points to arrange it so that it looks natural on the eye. So I'm going to choose, let me see here. She wants smoky liner. So let me choose something here for her. She wants it on the inner rim. So I'm actually going to tap on the template 004. So this one gives it like a smoky kind of smudged out eyeliner look with it in the um, waterline. And it's, I, I chose black. And I also noticed that the eyeliner looks like it's going in her eye. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to use key points to adjust it. So there's a little finger button at the top right. You tap that and the key points will pop up so that you're able to adjust the eyeliner. So if you do this, you can actually see this much more clearer. So what you do is you tap and you hold on the key point. It will activate a magnifying glass and then you can move the eyeliner around a little bit. Now only make minor adjustments as you go because everything starts to shift once you change the key points around the eye. So be very careful when you're working with key points because it could really mess up your work if you're not too careful. So I adjusted it there. I'm going to adjust it on the other side. There we go. Looks good. Just hit the check mark at the top right to save that. And so far we have a great smoky look. Um, I look for Brianna. She does want some false lashes. So actually we can apply digital false lashes to this look. So I went I hit the back button. I'm now hitting the eyelashes tab and we have a lot of lashes in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose something close to the lashes that she picked. I'm picking 005 in black. Now this is upper, and then we have to go to lower. So I hit the lower button on the lower left, and I'm going to choose some natural. She's not gonna put fake lashes on the bottom, so we're gonna choose something that looks like it's her natural eyelash with a voluminous eyelash, um, with a voluminous mascara on it. So there's that. This, this looks exactly like what she wanted for her eyes. That's great. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back button and I work a little bit backwards. Well, not really, I start from top to bottom. So I'm gonna go back to skin again and I'm going to do some contouring and some blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the skin tab to use the skin tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the blush tool. The blush tool shows me, I actually use the uh, number one template a lot. So. I chose the number one template and I noticed by default it's a pink, like a magenta pink blush. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. She wanted a peachy-ish, um, sort of almost neutral blush, nothing too bright because she's gonna have a very red lip. So I'm gonna choose something, actually I'm gonna use the color picker, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm gonna use the color wheel here to create something almost bronzy for her. She doesn't really want too much blush. There we go. And then use the intensity bar to make it darker, make it lighter. So she just wants a very a little tap of color on her cheeks, nothing too crazy. And then you're gonna go ahead and save the palette and hit the back button at the bottom left to go to the lips. Now we can go to contour now also. Actually, let me go to contour. So. The bottom right is the contour tab. We can do highlight. With this one, you know, it'll show forehead. If you hit the face icon on the lower left, that will bring out 
four different um, highlighted areas, forehead, cheek, nose, and chin. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight her chin with number two. And then I'm gonna go back and highlight with her nose with number two as well. Use the intensity bar to make it a little brighter. I'm gonna do her cheeks with, uh, let me do number three. Okay, it did um, under her eyes, it highlighted a bit. And then I'm going to do, lastly, the forehead with number two. Okay, great. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna hit the back button and I'm going to go to what's called shadow. So contour is highlight and shading. So we called this, um, for doing the shading, we called it shadow. So go ahead and tap the shadow button. And again, hit that um, button with the little purple head that says forehead on it and it'll bring up four areas, forehead, cheek, nose, and chin. Let me start with forehead first. So tap forehead. I'm going to use, let me see, I'm going to use number one, and it brings up different shades of contour. So if you know that she's going to be using more of a bronzy color, something a little more warm, you can choose something more warm here. Or if she wants something cool tone that looks more like a shadow, I can actually choose it here. Use the intensity bar to make it darker. Okay, so I'm going to move on to cheeks, which is this right here. Um, there's different templates. Um, she has kind of a higher cheekbone, so I'm going to choose number three. And she wants it to be dark, so I'm going to do... I'm actually... Oops, that's a little too dark. I'm going to choose... Actually, I went to the number two template. I think that looks a little better. It looks a little sharper on her. So I chose the number two on her, and then I'm gonna tap and do the nose. She really wants her nose contoured, so I'm gonna choose number, let me see, number three looks okay. Yeah, number three looks great. Um, so far, all we have left to do is her chin, choose number two. And then I'm gonna hit the back button. You can save, but I'm gonna hit the back button because I need to do lips. So lips is next. So I'm gonna hit the lips tab at the bottom, tap on lipstick. She said she wanted an intense red. So we also have pre-designed lip colors in here. If, you, if there's something that your client likes, you can use those. Or if there's something specific, she says I need to use the YSL red, or maybe she likes the red in my nails, something like that. You can either use the color picker to sample the color, or you can create your own red. So I'm gonna use the color wheel, and I'm gonna create my own red. So she wants like a bright, intense red lip. So I'm just going to use the intensity bar And she wants it more on the pink side. Let's see here. Okay, she wants an intense classic red. So I went ahead and created my own red using the uh, color wheel and the intensity bar. So this is pretty much the color that she requested. So I'm going to go ahead save the palette. I am done with this look. I'm going to hit save and what save does is it shows me the before and after picture of Brianna so that I can see what she looked like without makeup and what she looks like with. So now's your chance to send it to your client. There's a button that says send to client. Once you tap that it goes to their phone. Whatever you entered in there as their phone number that's where this is going to go and they're going to get a text that asks them to try the look on in perfect 365 app so if they don't have the perfect 365 app for the consumer side they're going to have to download it so you might want to tell your client in advance 
Hey Brianna, you have to have the Perfect 365 app in order to try on the look digitally, okay? Now, if she looks at this and she's satisfied with, with what it looks like here and doesn't want to try it on digitally, totally fine, she can do that, but it really helps to, for her to see what it looks like on her face as well. But she can see it right here on her photo. So that's also another option. You can have her try it on, you can have her save the photo, it's whatever you guys decide to do. Um, if you think this look is one of your best that you've ever done and you want to share it with the world, then go ahead and submit to Explore. That's the button down here. If you tap that, it actually gives us a message saying, you know, we have a Perfect 365 Pro user that submitted a look. So we go ahead and take a look at it. And if it looks like something we like, and want it to be in our app, we totally will approve it and it will be available for thousands of our users to try on. So that's really great. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this to Brianna. It actually gives you a preview first before you send it out. This is exactly the picture she's gonna see. So I'm gonna hit next. Now what it, the next part is going to be more of, you can go back in and tweak the description um, you can go back in and maybe send her a note saying, hey, Brianna, here's the look that you requested. What you have to do is download the Perfect 365 app in order to try it on. So please let me know if you have any troubles doing that. So that's a great um, time to um, add more notes. If you hit the products tab up here, you can actually send her, let's say she wants to buy the YSL lipstick that's in her look. Maybe she doesn't know where to buy it or you want to help yourself if you work at a counter, maybe you could give her the link to the product number or something so that she can call the store and order it. Who knows, it's up to you what you want to do. You can add the products by hitting add other products. You can add the product name, the URL, pictures of the product. You can do whatever you want here. And just remember, if you will submit this to Explore, those products will show up under your Explorer picture um, of that look. And so people can also purchase the products in Explorer as well. So you can also add a how-to. If you created, let's say Brianna calls me up and says, Krista, I really want you to create a how-to tutorial on how to do the look that you created for me because guess what? I decided I'm gonna have my wedding in Amsterdam and it's tomorrow. It's gonna be like, oh, Okay, um, well, Brianna, <laughs> let me create a quick YouTube tutorial tonight and send it to you. So by the time you get to Amsterdam, guess what? You'll be able to do this look on your own. So if I create um, an Instagram tutorial, YouTube, I can put the link here. She'll have it by tomorrow. Tagging, you can also, for Explorer, tag it as bridal events, holidays, because that's a red lip it would look nice during the holidays. Um, you can tag it, let's see, the eyes um, are brown. The eye color, you know, the eye color that we did was brown and then the lips were red orange. So you could select those as well so that when you submit it to Explore, it's categorized under those appropriate tags so that when people are looking for looks with red lipstick, they'll actually find yours because you tagged it. So I'm gonna hit the next button, and then it's gonna ask me who to send this to. So Brianna's name is already there. I can send it to Brianna. And once I tap her name, it goes there. So be careful. So right when you tap it, it gets, um, she's gonna get a text message in a few minutes with all the information about your look. And she's gonna be able to try it on. And then hopefully she'll text you back and say, I love it. This is the look I want. We'll see you on the wedding date.